Hello, hello there, and welcome back to Napalm's newest news. Today we are having the death block of the Project 56K Bravi Destroyer, and you'll find the link to this death block as usual in the video description down below, and then read all the fine details of the missile apprentice for yourself. Let's quickly talk about this, and then I'll also show you what we already have in game in terms of comparison. Because while this is the first ship that has SAM systems, it's not the first floating thing that has SAMs on board. So first of all, surface to air missiles, check. Multitube mortars, RBU 2500 for uh, close quarters, check. Radar, check. Poor gunnery capabilities, sadly also check because you only have one twin 130mm gun turret in the front, the rear position is occupied by the SAM system. And uh, as a backup you also have then the four quadruple uh, 45mm and then also some torpedoes um, as we can see here. Yeah, I think that's either a triple or a quad launcher and um, so the ship is in theory fit for every type of engagement and um, Outstanding is the most unusual armament of the Bravi is her Volna M SAM system with an ammo load of 18 missiles and you can acquire targets at 16 kilometers and also um, you can in theory hit lightly armored surface targets dealing tremendous damage with their 30 kilogram warhead uh, especially if it detonates inside of the hull. We'll talk about this in a moment. The big downside is then that the reload takes a very long time. What Gaijin exactly means with that, we'll have to see, no actual number here. So let's just see what this, how this ship shines in battle. First of all, um, the missiles can target an enemy aircraft with the radar and then just shoot them down if they don't do evasive actions. A lot of aircraft in uh, in destroyer or cruiser battles just fly in a straight line for a very long time and very often they don't see the missile coming especially since they don't expect one even though we have stuff in the game that already represents that and um, if they dodge the missiles you know they have to drop uh, altitude they have to do maneuvers uh, dropping speed and altitude then you have the radar with the proximity fuse from the mighty 130 millimeter guns that hit like cruiser guns and if you survive in the aircraft all of this, there are also the three quadruple 45 millimeters that are just nasty. And for close in uh, engagements, we have a nice combination of those torpedoes, which hit decently hard. And also the RBU 2500 motor rockets effectively. Um, and you can spam so many that the enemy's day is just basically ruined. And so this is where uh, you have basically a bit of everything in this destroyer. So very nice indeed. Now, the missiles. Um, 30 kilogram warhead, 16 kilometer range, 18 missiles. Keep that in mind. Because if we then look into the game, we can see that we have the USS Douglas premium patrol boat that has two missiles namely the rim 24a we have 14 kilometer range 620 meters per second uh, maximum speed tnt warhead of 50 kilograms the warhead type is sap he so basically he and yes you can snipe destroyers mrx with that if you know precisely where to hit it's not a guarantee but you do damage the problem for this ship is you only have two you have limited firing angles and you have to be in a cap to constantly refill them but you are if you are in one of those positions the fun knows no end especially when you are in really good cover since they launch upwards um so there is that and you also can lock on to enemy aircraft and therefore have already the same fun with a range of 14 kilometers the next thing is we already have the italian saeta p494 and uh, as you can see in the modifications there's those netunos we have five of them in the launcher 10 kilometer range much slower 280 meters per second and the tnt he warhead is 25 kilograms and um, yeah again you have a launcher here 
so you can't shoot forward but to the side you also can lock on to enemy aircraft i made uh, videos about this and also about the uss douglas 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 and uh, we also have to talk about if this is the slow but steady start of uh, you know something like this getting activated um exoset i think they were called those anti-ship missiles um we have the launch tubes but they are not modeled in game yet as you can see you cannot use them so far um they are not there to be selected but if they come into the game with much heavier warheads with basically a rework of the damage models as it is absolutely necess necessary at some point we shall see so this is not yet in the game but we have that uh, promising of the volna m sam system interesting for sure absolutely will make a video about this ship uh, good thing is it's not a premium it's actually in the tech tree so you can have some sam fun as well and that's it for me today so that's all that you wrote for this ship if you have questions let me know in the comment section down below give this video a like if you did subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other as usual on the battlefields on the in the skies and on the waves of war thunder